Here at home, the population of an endangered Tennessee fish got bigger today. The Tennessee Aquarium held a release and took more than 1,000 sturgeon to Knoxville. News Channel 9's Drew Baleo was with them when they loaded up to leave. For the last five months, these lake sturgeon have been raised in captivity, and today they're being loaded up and taken to Knoxville, where they'll be released into their natural habitat. They are Tennessee's river giants. They don't look like it now, but these lake sturgeon can grow to be nine feet long, nearly 300 pounds, and live for 100 years. They have these bony scutes along the sides of their bodies. They look almost like dinosaurs. 1,000 of these fish are headed to Knoxville, where they'll be released into the wild. And we raise them here for four to five months till they're five to seven inches long. The sturgeon population fell off in the 1960s due to climate change, pollution, and overfishing. The release program is in its 15th year and is part of a 20-year effort to restore the population. They're really important parts of the food chain. They're one of our larger fish. Anna George says the fish are vital to Tennessee waterways, which boast more fish species than any other state. The rivers and streams in our backyards are just teeming with life. The more sturgeon they see survive means the better the water quality, which is a good indicator of overall health. It's clean, it's safe, it's a place where not only can the ironmen swim, but our sturgeon can as well. The lake sturgeon are still endangered in Tennessee, so if you catch one, you do have to release it back, but you're asked to record information about it and then submit that information online. We have links on our website, newschannel9.com, so you can learn how to do so. I'm Drew Balea reporting. The Tennessee Aquarium also uses microchip monitoring on more than 50 of the nearly 150,000 sturgeon that have been released over the last 15 years. This helps them learn about their travel and migration patterns.